Dragons Fire Team Elite. I'm here. I'm live from Canada, uh, which, if you haven't heard recently, Canada's been having some problems <laughs> with with its internet. Um, I'm on a, a different company than the one that's uh, affected. Uh, Rogers was the one that was kind of having some issues, but. Uh, I'm with Bell. So basically there's two major companies in Canada that you can get internet with and half the country uh, was without internet yesterday which was insane, uh, apocalyptic, uh, debit machines not working, uh, having to use those old you know credit card swiper machine things, uh, 911 services out of service, pretty crazy stuff. We have Donut Predator here again. Hell yeah, another video. We have Mike N. Nice. Just got the game on sale. We should play. Uh, you can add Derek237. That's my handle. The Basis Logan says hi. Hi, Basis Logan. Jesse uh, Arellano says hey -o. I say hey -o back. Robert says hey -o. I say hey -o back. Let me just quickly... I'll, I'll, I, I always forget. I'm, I'm going to put a, a link on Twitter here before I forget anything. So... Hopefully everyone can hear me. But yeah, it's it's been crazy with the internet stuff in Canada. Xander House says, hey, finally catching your live since Alien Day. Much love from Perfect Organism. Ah, oh, Perfect Organism. I love you guys. You, you guys are the best. Uh, hopefully we'll be in contact soon for special secret projects, maybe. Martin Gorski says, I'm reading Marvel's Aliens issues 7 through 12. I haven't checked those out. I'm curious, Martin, are, th are, th are those uh, worth worth checking out? I mean, I know I kind of <sighs> piss and moan about the art, but I, I was kind of interested in that story. It seemed almost sort of like the Alien 3 uh, monk storyline. A little bit. Tim Faulkner says, yo, 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 what's up, chat? Tim Faulkner's back. Well, before we start, one thing that's kind of on my mind a little bit, maybe I can get some uh, feedback on it. Uh, it being the, the anniversary of Alien 3, one thing that I've been really itching to do is kind of go back to those video game adaptations. Uh, I wanted to do videos on them. I wanted to cover them kind of in depth. Uh, you know, as much as I can see, see as much as they uh, possibly relate to the movie with, you know, prisoners uh, chained up to the walls, cocoon to the walls, things like that. I'd like to explore them a little bit, but I'm wondering, Aquanet123, yo, it's an alien, uh, a, a Bell customer, I'm sure. Um, the, NES, the NES one is rough, um, but I thought, basically my thought here, what I'm kind of kicking around is maybe I could stream those older ones, uh, I mean, I might have to do it in, in kind of a different way. Uh, kind of the cool thing about the, the PlayStation that I've noticed since I've gotten it, uh, you can just broadcast right from, you know, your your system, uh, which comes with benefits and, and comes with, you know, uh, disadvantages. Like, the chat comes up and it kind of squishes it all around. I can't see super chats or anything like that, so it's, it's a little tricky. Um, but with, like, an older system, I'd have to use, you know, the uh, AV to HDMI to, uh, or a H uh, AV to USB to get into the computer, uh, broadcast it through OBS. Sometimes OBS is a little, mm, I don't know, a little shaky with me sometimes. And I guess I'd, I'd have to find a way to, to view it on a TV. I'd, I'd hate to have to watch it through the OBS. So I think I could probably uh, put it into the TV and, you know, how you'd put it on channel 3, but you could also do the output into the VCR. Uh, so I could put the output into the VCR and AV in, then AV out, do the HDMI, USB, AV conversion to the OBS. I'd be strangled by wires, I'm sure, but it could be fun. Uh, so, I don't know. If that's something you're interested in seeing, uh, let me know. Uh, but either way, I do kind of want to cover the games in, in some format or another. Red Crewmate says, are you looking forward, are you excited 
for the new DLC. Yes, yes, and I want to, uh, you know, keep up my skills. Kapow! Whoa, sorry, dude. Uh, I want to keep up my uh, skills as, as much as I can, uh, and hopefully do do a good job, and not take several months to get through the game like I've done in this time. Uh, with this game, I should say. But yesterday, or actually the day before yesterday, we did the campaign. I think it was the Gift of Fire. Uh, the next one is, what is it called? The Only Way to Be Sure, I think. Uh, so, well, actually, let's take a look. So, yeah, The Only Way to Be Sure. That's the campaign. It's the last campaign. We have the three missions here. Uh, it gets progressively more difficult. And Sam Boyd says, well, love the channel, man. Just want to support. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for your support. Uh, Bullrun27 says, hi, what's up? Hi, Bullrun27. Sam Boyd says, get some. Well, we're going to get some. Drizul Tech and Games says, nuke him from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. Let's see. So maybe we should do something different. Maybe I should try a different class. Though I do, I, I like... You know what? Is it bad that I just want to keep with what I got? Because I like the fireball gun. I like the heavy pulse rifle. I think those are cool. I think I might need some more sentries, actually. Uh, my favorite of the four campaigns is Tim Faulkner. Okay, so... Well, yeah, I mean, you get the hive and stuff. It's pretty cool. I don't know. As much as I'd love to try something a little bit different, I, I, I really do like this. This, uh, this setup. <laughs> the Lancer. Red Crewmate says, What I'm excited for is the boss fight. Do you think a queen or something new? Uh, well, I mean, kind of what we talked about yesterday was that we had the, the queen in, in the last mission of this campaign, but it was really just uh, uh, running away from the queen, not really fighting her. So, I mean, that might be something they'll try to atone for uh, or give us something new. I mean, Pathogen is the name of the campaign. Uh, so maybe like a Pathogen creature of some kind, something we, something we haven't seen yet. Uh, HK says, big fan of your content watching since very early on. How would you rate this game? Think about picking it up. Colon. What? Colon. Um, I'd rate it like, well, I, I don't know how to rate games, but I mean, like, it's, it's, it's a fine game. Uh, obviously not, like, high tier, like, it, it adds to the whole universe in a great way, in an emotionally involving way, like Alien Isolation or anything like that, but it's, it's a solid game, it's, it's fun, I mean, uh, you get in, you get out of it what you put into it, I suppose, and, and I'm kind of more casual, and I come in and out a little bit, so I enjoy it, but, but definitely, I would say for anybody who's, uh, hesitant, apprehensive about getting the game, uh, maybe wait for a sale or something like that. I mean, it's, I guess they call it triple A. Is that what they call, like, the, you know, super, super duper big budget games? This is not a super duper big budget game. This is uh, a, 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 a way smaller uh, game studio by comparison to, the, to most of the big guys out there. There's, like, three, three people, three employees working on this game. So what they you know, achieved uh, with which with such a small team is, is quite impressive. Uh, so I wouldn't downplay that a little bit. But at the end of the day, it's a third-person shooter. You shoot Xenomorphs. If that's your thing, then hey. Johnny Sunday says, 7 out of 10 rating, has issues, but great gameplay and atmosphere. Left 4 Dead with Xenomorphs. Uh, I haven't played Left 4 Dead, but I'll definitely take your word on that. It's, it's, it's a shooter. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to say this is like the greatest game. You have to play it. Um, definitely, you know, keep an eye out for it if you want to get a sale, or watch streams like this, see if it's something you might like, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's up to your own tastes, uh, eventually. But, anyway, we're gonna get into this, this is the only way to be sure, we're gonna do Breach, this is the big one, Marines, the Katanga, Xenohive must be destroyed, we stop the spread here, blue team will advance ahead of you, and rig the refinery for self-destruct. You'll follow and keep their path to safety again. Open. Mercedes Shravani says, If you like what you see, buy the game. I think that's wise words, Mercedes Shravani. Very wise of you. Would you like to be my best friend? 
Am I on private or no? You know, I don't want to do team. I don't want to do team. Hold on, hold on. Sorry, sorry, but I just I uh, I was being shown up a little bit. They they're very fast and running ahead of me and stuff. So I'm gonna make this uh, private. I'm gonna play with alpha and beta. When is the story recap for the game coming? Uh, well, I mean, like within the game itself, or do you mean the the DLC? This is the big one, Fire Team. The Katanga Sino Hive must be destroyed. Sam Boyce is all right then, but I recommend CV11 and his awesome ahead of you and rig Boomer the Shooter for channel. You'll follow and keep their yes, Manic Medic, over. the androids. I'm playing with the androids. Just for this one, at least. Should I do a challenge card? Yeah, let's pick one. Uh, heavy armor. Your movement speed is reduced by 20%. You get 1.75 credits. Ryan R says, hey again, folks. Lightning strike. Complete the mission in 15 minutes or less. Good luck. Low ammo. Aid kits. Weapon accuracy is severely reduced. I I can't decide. I can't decide. Uh, shit. Okay. <laughs> I guess we're not doing a card. But that's okay. You know, I still haven't got. Apparently, there's like a. Uh, uh, retro, like 16 or 32 bit uh, visual card, which seems cool. I, I've got the Noir Cam one. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, but that could be cool. That could be fun. Okay. Here we go. Slowly, steadily. The fire team from 3rd Platoon has point and is moving ahead of us. Their what? pulse sign is blue. Are these guys supposed to be here? We'll keep the sentry guns up so they can get out again. I hear movement. Alright, I gotta... Gotta arm these. Oh my god. Get to the chopper! This is a solo mission for all intents and purposes. I mean, Alpha and Beta are sometimes useless. But it's good to have them in case they might decide to help you. Oh shit, I remember this. Oh god, I hate this. Maybe I shouldn't have used the fireball because it's not that useful against these guys. Mercedes Chevron says I'm scared for you. I'm scared too. Look at these fuckers. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Any hidden stuff around here? Well, what's, what's in here? Gotta be some secret in here. Nope. Just more aliens. Conserve your ammo. You didn't... You, do, you don't have an ammo card. Yeah, I should, actually. Hollywood Big Daddy Trip says they should add DLC characters. Yeah, they should. Fire, fire. Here's one of those kamikaze guys with no head. <laughs> oh, he spilled his milk. Maybe something in here. No. 
no. Ever played EDF? No, I'm not sure. I don't know what EDF is. All too easy. Fury 161, DLC characters, says Turd Eye Blind. EDF Earth Defense Force. Oh, isn't that on, like, Nintendo? I think I've played that. It's like a shooter game. Like a spaceship shooter, I mean. And isn't it that picture of that old man with the banjo on the cover? EDF? Yeah, all the kids love Morse. Man, can't wait for that Morse DLC. Between the three robots from Alien, Aliens, and Prometheus. So, Ash, Bishop, and David? Well, I mean, David just plays dirty, doesn't he? He'd probably win. I'd like to think Bishop. I mean, he may be synthetic, but he's not a wimp. Hudson, come here! Come here! Alright, sweetheart, you heard the man and you know the drill. Assholes and elbows! I hear something. Whoa! The fireball. Assistance required. I do like that little energy jolting shield. Donut Purser says, I don't know, Ash with the roll of the magazine would be tough. Yeah, special DL DLC weapon is the magazine and different uh, decals you can get. Oh shit, okay. Resistance is unacceptable. That's what I like about normal mode, you can't blow yourself up. David, yeah, David and Ash like doing a little fencing mas match between a flute and a rolled up magazine. Very Freudian. Oh shit. There's combat sense, there's working Joes. What are you expecting, Santa Claus? Isn't there like a blooper reel where... The actor, I think it's Dominique Pinon, couldn't say Santa Claus and he kept on screwing up the line. Or maybe they just talked about it, they didn't show the footage. I'd love to see the footage. I swear I saw some guy go behind that pillar there. Okay. You always know all doors job. forward and aft of our route. My network intrusion will be detected. Expect a counterattack. 
See, here's some working Joes. I think if you don't kill them now, they get up later and, and get you, so I better kill them now. Let me just conserve some ammo and just headshot them with my, you know, side piece. <laughs> my side piece. Whoa. I've always, call, I've always called him Shotgun Wheelchair, dude. Sounds like a Marvel hero. Mercedes Shivani says pew pew. Pew. Smoke those Joes. Did I get them all? No, I think there's one back here, maybe. Oh, there's all, all the ammo I could want. <laughs> Damn, boy, working Joe with the side piece. No, come on, there's gotta be another one. Where? I don't want them to ambush me later. I'm glad you're doing lives again, says Dan St. Fernando. Thank you very much, Dan. Boom! That'll teach you. That'll teach you. Okay, so maybe we'll get a little bit of health here. I remember this part is... it's rough. It's a little rough. Uh, so let's... Uh, oh, more, more spilled milk. And actually, I should set up some stuff, eh? What do I got here? Sentry gun, no brainer. Chrissy knows it all. Says I do love your voice. I absolutely love your channel. Thank you, Chrissy knows it all. We'll set up one of these. Let's put one a little closer, like right here. An electric one. You are the Canadian Morgan Freeman. Get busy living or get busy dying, eh? Okay. Are we ready? Come on, motherfuckers. Here they come. Come on, you bastards. Oh no. Sentry gun. Voodoo magic, man. Fucking voodoo magic. I'll tell you what I believe. Shit happens. Did someone shoot at me? Shawshank aliens. Well, Mark Rol Rolston isn't. Whoa, fuck. Uh, Mark Rolston is in Shawshank. Uh oh, I see a kind of greenish teal ping. That's a bad sign. Consideration shins shin since ain't shit. Yeah, I'm gonna run and get some ammo. Where is it? Yeah. Oh hi. Bye. Derek, try yelling and cut. God, take everybody. Back to one for another. Stay real close to the ammo box. You're right, Mercedes. 
No, I'm doing okay for ammo. Uh oh, another red ping. That's bad. Where is he? I don't see the fucker. Ah! Come on, show yourself, you coward. Boom. I want you to lay down suppressing fire with the incinerators and fall back. Equinet one three says, Okay, one problem with your chat on the side there. The messages aren't showing. I know! They're all messed up. It really bugs me. Purse is rock and roll, Derek, slash AT. Whoa! I'm rocking. I don't know about the rolling. Oh, there we go. Some rolling. Well, I feel more generous with uh, wasting ammo as long as I'm near a box, but uh, since we're moving along, yeah, maybe I better switch back. Wait, I hear something. Cut this one. Maybe we haven't demoralized. Hear that? Oh no, a prowler. So it's either on the left or the right. What do you think, guys? Chat left or right? Casey I recommend the Vulcan heavy for the next. Oh, uh, it was the left. Uh, Vulcan heavy. Third Eye Blind is all of the 90s. Hey, Third Eye Blind is awesome. Third Eye Blind is just, uh... Well, I won't say better. Anybody there? Hello? Well, everything's okay now. Hi. Ah, oh, fuck. I got too cocky. There he goes, little coward. Are you okay? Uh, I don't think he's gonna make it, boys. I don't know which species is worse, them or us. You don't see them freaking each other over a percentage. Now I'm gonna get this fucker. Oh, come on! Is but a scratch. Daft Canuck, there's a good screen name. What? Him again? I'm getting real sick of your shit. Okay, we're okay. Okay. See, another. Oh, I thought it was a prowler. Good. Oh boy. Okay. Get those sentries back up. Hey T chat, do you think fire team is worth the full price or wait for a sale? I don't know, do you like what you see right now? Because if you like what you see right now, go for it. Uh, if not, then yeah, wait for a sale. Usually I mean they have a lot of sales, I've noticed. It just seems to be one of those games that uh, every couple of weeks we'll have a sale for at least maybe 20%, but you know, 20% saved is 20 earned, I guess. But then actually you might want to wait for the DLC anyway, they might have, you know, like a bundle uh, that, you know, is, is a better price. So I mean, at this point, uh, at the very least, wait for the DLC, see if there's a package that comes out, you know? None of these aliens are wearing double masks and keeping six feet apart. I noticed that. Whoa.
Spook the Snake says, Yo, Alien Theory, what are your thoughts on the game? When I played it, it got very repetitive, very fast, so I got bored of it. Um, I mean, definitely it's it's repetitive. Uh, but I've, I've, I've shared some thoughts overall, I think it's a good game. Uh, one thing I'll say, like, uh, I, I'm like, not on these... Uh, not on these streams, of course, but, you know, when I'm just playing my own leisure time. Uh, what I'll do is, you know, I'll, I'll uh, put on, like, an audio book and just kind of play and, just, you know, kind of mindlessly shoot. So it's it's good in that respect for me. So I've gotten my money's worth out of the game for sure. Uh, like, it's... For, for, for me, I like... I don't know, less story... I like something that I can just play mindlessly and maybe put some music or an audiobook on in the background. That's usually me. Or if, like, I can read the chat at the same time as shooting mindlessly, so... Uh, wish they would have the pulse rifle with the grenade launcher. Yeah, I mean, that, I, I assume that was what we are gonna do. Uh, the Don I says, Derek, if you find a woman who enjoys these games as much as you do, marry her. Uh, well, I mean, uh, hopefully there's other criteria. Hey, we found a... Found, we found some intel. I guess I missed that one. Why don't you put her in charge? I see some movement. Well, we're going back here now. Well, what was the point of any of that? No, come on, there's gotta be more or something. Come on. Derek, cool thinking, the, this game, plus great audio book. Yeah, I mean, I think actually, I I had read the book first, but then I put on the audio book of, of Infiltrator, uh, the one written by, or written as the uh, prequel to the game. So I listened to it while playing the game, so that's pretty cool. And Bronson Pinchot, Bosom Buddies fan, <laughs> not Bosom Buddies. <laughs> Um, a Perfect Strangers fame, uh, he did the audiobook, uh, performance, well, it was written by Weston Oaks, uh, and, uh, Bronson Pinchot, uh, did the performance, and he was great, he does all the different voices, as he did with Phalanx, uh, he's great. Uh, Willem03 says, what are your thoughts about Prey? I'm optimistic, um... Even a little more than optimistic, I am kind of, you know, I'm, I am actually excited for the game. Uh, for the movie. All you can really do is just, you know, you hope. Looks pretty cool, I hope it is cool. Every time I play, I have Alien Theory vids playing on my phone. That's cool. I'm glad, I'm glad I'm there with you in spirit. Well, come on! Anything in here? Mercedes she finds find Derek's wife, 2022. Well, it is on my Tinder profile. This is must play Aliens Fire Team Elite and Cuphead. Could really use some help. More dry guns. Get them rearmed. Then come. Say she says I'm dead. Oh, we killed her. A drone. Did I hear a drone somewhere? Aquinas says, How much do you want to bet Derek's Tinder profile reads? My only love is the alien franchise. You'll be a close second, though. You've seen it, haven't you? How did you know those are the exact words?
Derek, do any of these games have a level where you can temporarily use, uh, temporarily use a Berserker suit? Or even have a uh, Demon Jerry Picker? No, no, nothing like that, but I like the way you think. Ah, oh, see, I did hear it. Fuck you! He's dead. Are there any new vids on the way? One hour ones? I usually fall asleep to your vids. No homo. Uh, no hour long ones coming up, but there's a few coming up soon. Uh, some interesting things in the works. Uh, one video is going to be kind of like a call to action kind of thing. Uh, which... I'll keep mum on for now. Uh, then another thing, just that I kind of find, find uh, amusing and worth talking about. That's maybe just going to be a couple of minutes, but worth talking about. Um, further down the road, yeah, I'm looking to make something a little bit longer. Uh, two that I kind of have in in mind in the works right now, uh, but those. I mean, I, I, I hate to say it, but I do. I, I work kind of at a, at a snail's pace. Uh, hey, Derek, have you thought about doing voiceovers? You have a very mysterious voice, especially when you did videos that described the colonial. Uh, other than just the videos that I do, nothing... Crossing to Lakasi Tower. Enemy territory. Nothing in mind, no. We have lost contact with you do more damage when you stand still. But I did actually Project Acherons, their uh, kind of sequel to Covenant, fan sequel, I should say. I I did a voice for that. Are you playing with fans by any chance? Uh, well, yesterday or not yesterday, but the day before, I you know I just opened up a public match and just. You know, uh, let her rip, basically. Eggy wigs. I wanna smash him. We got to get on a perfect organism audio drama sometime. Absolutely. You just say the word. Oh my lord. Ooh, that feels better. We should get back here on play. I haven't touched the game in months and making... And watching you makes me want to play. Well, yeah, I mean, it's like riding a bike. Which ones did we do? Because me and Aquanet, we played a couple of missions. I, did we go this far to to the only way to be sure? I don't think we did. Or maybe we did. If we play again, I'll just be like, please can we do the first mission just like ten times? It's the easiest. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? I fucking hate these prowlers. I fucking hate them. Is it Prowler Day? Is this game in any way connected to the movies or whatnot? Uh, it's connected to the movies in the sense that uh, Aliens Infiltrator, the novel, is connected to the movies. It's it's official canon. If you want to use that, you know, expression. Next difficulty mode, nothing but <laughs> Yeah, it's just... Keep tight. 
Oh, uh, what do you call that? You know, those now. games where you just have to uh, click the buttons? Yes, they're called video games. Okay, anyway. Mercedes Shabani says, oh man, I want to play this game now. Well, come on. I've been trying to convince you to play this game, Mercedes. If you won't play it, maybe Mike will. Oh! Oof! Killed him at what a cost. Okay, I'm getting real acid reflux here. Just prowlers for days. New game idea, extract. It's horde mode, but you have to cut open doors and hack terminals to keep moving forward. Prowler. Like Another prowler. Esther, you're in charge now. Where is he? Fuck a doodle doo. Okay, we're kind of fucked here, boys. I'm down 100%. Sure. Talk is cheap. I think I would be good since I play a lot of Warzone. I don't know. Rearming. Nice. Kick. Okay, we got some ammo. And we got this. Okay, so hostiles incoming. Connor Walsh says, I got this on Steam, it's fun, I just wish you can get more people in the game. That's, I mean, over and over, that's what I hear is that, you know, like, damned if you can find people to join a match, you know, a public match. Okay, let's just fucking do this. I think there's more than just this, though, so I'm only, I'm, I'm not gonna waste everything. I'm gonna waste a lot. As much as I can waste, actually. And it's already being wasted. Good. Okay. Okay. Are you ready, pilgrims? Initiating door overrides. Subject five through deck thirty-five. Yeah, I should uh, get some health eh? It, it turned into first person for a second when he swiped me. Coming out of the walls! Coming out of the goddamn walls! Damn it. Yeah. Not so tough now. Come on, die! Whoa! Many of them. This guy's freaking me out. Doors sealed and locked. What's he just doing? I need you to access the HVAC system now. Whoa! 
Yeah, we need to access the HVAC. Run like Gorman. Just bug out and call it even, okay? What are we talking about this for? Ah, yes. See, so we got a little bit more. Oh, thank God, there's a, some more help. What we got here? Oh, yes. No shame. Let's just fill her up. Is it crossplay? That's a good question. I'm, I'm actually not sure. I don't think so. No, well, I don't know. I have no idea. I can't pretend to know. Because I really don't. Okay. Okay. Lauren says, are you excited for the Alien spinoff TV shows coming up? Absolutely. Derek, I'm 35. Oh, come on! Okay, better not fuck around. stressed out at all. You watched The Boys? Yes, yes, I just caught the, uh, the finale. It was great. Weird and violent and fucked up. I love it. The shooting gun. They got the power, man. They're animals. Whoa, I took out my sentry gun with that guy. Sergeant, I, see a very large signal. I see a large signal, too. Come here. Yes, now we have the Praetorian. Pussy. Smoke Monster says hello. Hello, Smoke Monster. As usual, as usual, there's always a spitter hiding at the very end. I remember when he was just high. This is Derek two three seven. Ah, good times. But I wasn't just high. This is Derek two three seven. All right. Round of applause for myself. Ah, oh boy. Spitters are quitters. There we go. Hey, I leveled up, or ranked up, so I might have a open space on the uh, on the perks, or whatever whatever you call it. Thirty seven. So there, honestly, there's a, a challenge card where you have to do that in under fifteen minutes. I don't think so. Now now let's re let's return to the base for a second. Blue team made it through Katanga's last security. I do space. honestly. I I I. Once they I, reach the Xeno Hive, they. I, I know I've been neglecting the hi, this is Derek237 channel, and I should do more, but, you know, there's only so much time. I do want to do, I, I still love doing the Halloween marathons. I'm watching horror movies, talking about them, it's fun. 
Okay, hey, what's going on here? Oh yeah, because I got some intel. Jordan Taylor says, salute to you from HMS Lancaster in UK Navy. Excellent. Somebody left a case on the Katanga perimeter? No worries, I'll fab up a replacement when we need it. Personally, I prefer whaling equipment. Lightweight and the ballistic software updates itself when you hit port. Slowly slides advertisement to join my podcast again. Most Marines swear by arm at battle. If I can't get on my, on my own. The gear's heavy and durable. I can't imagine. Lots of metals. I'll try. Focus on I'll the try, Equinox. Stopping power. The joke is, <laughs> you bomb an arm at weapon, bury it for six months, but not. Who are you gonna call? Bug stompers. As a logistics professional, I'm gonna I love the stylistic things. choices that this is like the David Lynch Dune movie, movie where they like communicate through psychic telekinetic conversation. Anyway. What? Somebody left the case on the Katanga perimeter. Most Marines, between you and me, I think most Marines like Armand because they're the only major defense contractor in the United Americas. Pure jingoism. But hey, that's just me. I'm from Gateway Station. We don't play dirt politics. If you anything? got a Wayland Utani weapon in DRM lockdown, go talk to that. How many? Uh... I think we've acquired a few things you'll find interesting. No, I don't have, a, I have, a, have enough. But no, maybe Mr. I should uh, buy some uh, stock is consumables. Too much salt, fat, and sugar. Is it legal? I mean, if it's illegal, I can get no problem. But if it's legal, I'll need you to file requisition form thirteen forty eight or thirteen forty eight minus. So wait, do I have the Vulcan? Off -ship net. I don't know, where is it? I, I'm gonna assume I have it. Get my sentry gun, electroshock, harden. Let's do another electroshock, another harden. You know, let's do another sentry gun, another harden, another. This is what we're doing. There we go. Okay, well, let's try something maybe a little bit different. I mean, I like the Lancer, but let's try something a little different. Let's do... What's uh, Recon got? Well, no, I mean, shouldn't I... No, I'm going to keep the Lancer, but change my weapons. How about that? Ooh, should I try a shotgun? I know, what's this? What do we got here? What is this? This has no stars on it, so... I, could, I just want to check this first. Oh, it's a little... A little vanilla, but not too bad. So this is the PPZ-49. Automatic fire. Uh, let's put a... Stability. I like stability. Ooh, we got a new site. Hollow site. Let's, let's just see that real quick. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Turd Eye says, You don't like medic class? No, I, I, I like it. Uh, I can't remember if I played it on the stream or just on my own, but actually, that reminds me. We should check the tactical opportunities for the day. Uh, gunner, so we have to do a gunner, and we have to do a CQW. Can you combine those two? Let's see if we can. So I'll go for the gunner, because I'm just about to level up. Uh, is this one? No, let's see, CQ4. Hmm. No. 
But I could use the fireball again. I do like the fireball. I like the fireball, guys. Uh, no, let's try something a little different. How about a tactical shotgun? Wait, any of these uh, lacking some levels? This one, the PPZ. Okay, so I can use that on the gunner, fine. Okay, so let's try a different color on this, just because, you know, I, I grinded so much to get the different colors. Yellow? It looks like the power loader, that's kind of cool. What do you think of the yellow? How about a spray yellow? Wayland Utani Security. Topographic Planes. Oh, I like this. Jungle. Topographic Jungle. Yeah, let's do that. And let's put some decal on it. Let's do. What's this? Apple and Pear. No, let's put a skull on it. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. And we have a plasma rifle. Ken White says, AT, this night might not be the time to ask, but where would you like the franchise to go from here on the big screen? Uh, well, I think it's going where it's going. Uh, it's it's There's going to be the new uh, Fede Alvarez film. Uh we know nothing really about it at this point but i'm i'm optimistic about that i honestly i just want something i, I you know i love the action i love the marine stuff and the, all the cool weaponry uh but i would i'm just just as like not even just a fan but just as a, as an audience member uh i'm i'm curious to see if they could do the concept of alien and make it scary again uh really i mean the first two like first alien very scary movie S aliens it's it's scary in its own way but maybe you could say more thrilling um the prequels were more just kind of like body horror kind of stuff which was effective in its its own own ways um but just not like you know edge of your seat scary so i'd, I'd love to see if we could do scary if say we could do it with one alien again i mean could that be possible? I don't know. Something in that arena, I guess. Anyway, uh, yeah, getting off the track a little bit. Uh, do I have anything to level up here? The sniper. Uh, do I really want to do the sniper? Uh, wait, where's the CQW? Couldn't I? Mike says, dude, love your channel. You have the juice. Thank you. Ah. Auto Tomatoes says, be difficult not making it an alien rehash, I guess. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, too. There's so much that could go wrong. But I'd, you know, I'd love the filmmakers forever if they could pull it off. The second weapon is a CQW? Oh, oh indeed it is. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Okay. What do I got here? Can I, uh, perk anything up? That's, I'm, no, it's Doc. Um, Gunner. Quick load. Not compatible. Okay. Oh, wait. What's equipped? No? Increases the damage of the ability. Okay, very good. Michael Finn, Finn says, Why haven't... A lot of Michaels tonight. Uh, why haven't you been approached to do an alien auto book? I'd listen up. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I don't know. I think it's a union thing. Okay, so we're doing a gunner. We're... We got the CQW. I guess that's it. Okay, so... 
Let's let's do the only way to be sure. Mission two, search. We are now officially on search and rescue. Blue team made it through the Katanga's last security synths, but once they reached the Xeno Hive, they dropped out of the radio contact. You are going in to find them. Okay, let's do it. I'm not gonna bother myself with challenge cards, I should get ready. Boop the Snake says, do you like any and all sci-fi things? Are you a fan of the Jurassic Park uh, World Series? Well, I like a lot of sci-fi stuff, and you know, I think uh, the first Jurassic Park is great. Uh, even the second one was okay, and, and I like the third one. The world ones, I'm not a huge fan of, though. Uh, I wasn't too, you know, gung-ho to see this new one, and I heard it was pretty underwhelming. We're gonna follow the flares. Beta's really, uh, ready to go. I like your enthusiasm, Beta. Great. I love it. Wait, what the fuck? What did I... I don't remember equipping this. Okay. Well, I need to use a CQW lamp. Oh, okay. a bad feeling about this run. You're in their house. They could come from any direction. So, be paranoid. If you see something, shoot something. If you see something, shoot something. Good good advice. Okay now. You always say that, you always have a bad feeling about this run. <laughs> when we get back, I'll call your folks. They wreck the Alien franchise with Ripley's story if they want a movie or show, they need some new blood and There's like a, a space, like some space mer mercenary text. My ammo's low already. Burn, baby, burn. Looks like some sort of secreted resin. Yeah, but secreted from what? You don't want to know. You okay? Marines. Corporal Delahaye. Oh. Grab her tags. Miss Gansin Bass. Bye. 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 Can't make an omelet. He's dead, Jim. Damn it, Jim, I'm a doctor, not a marine. Okay, uh, I don't want to waste anything. Let's do this. Still two out there. Don't let it back in the vent. Thank you. 
damn it. Isn't there ammo anywhere that I can get? Oh, there is. Wow. <laughs> wow. Shit. confidence in, in what I've uh, equipped in terms of weaponry. Did I even equip? Okay, yeah, I did. Oh my god. Where's the bone? Oh, I have no ammo. Clear. Keep moving. Grabbing ammo. Don't worry, it's just a flesh wound. Just a flesh wound. Aliens may be the most quotable movie. Aside from Monty Python, I guess. Apparently, the they're quoting it in this game. Let's Cut the door. Jedi Sajin says, Evening Alien Theory, how's it going? Hope you're enjoying your weekend. Yeah, good weekend so far. Glad to have you back. Just enjoying this relaxing game. Ethereal Curse is, hey oh, hey oh, Ethereal Curse. Fatty McFox is the mod you have on the grenade. It, uh, slot is pretty awful in my opinion. I usually go with the sticky grenade mod. Yeah, this one, yeah, I'm not crazy about it actually. Uh, I should have played around a little bit before I. Ambush. Okay, we gotta. Busy little creatures. Busy little creatures. People still playing this game on PS4, PS5? Ah, I got a match yesterday, and uh, people joined me. Aha! I saw him. Did you see him? He's dead now. <laughs> that took a while to die. Okay. We got the crusher. Kandathai28 says, seriously love this chat. Yeah, you guys are awesome. Thank you for being here. I, I really do appreciate it. Auto Tomatoes says, I'm surprised they haven't put it on Plus. I, I, I think they will at some point, because didn't uh, Predator Hunting Grounds come on uh, the Plus? AT, you should organize a group of, st of, of, of steady marines. Yeah, I think this might find its way eventually. To uh, PS Plus. Which would be great! Uh, cause you know, more people play. Hey, five bags of popcorn is back. How you doing? I'm getting ready to die terribly. Uh-oh. 
Mercedes Giovanni says, you got this, my dude. Thanks for your confidence in me. Katunga, Katunga, Katunga. I hear something. I hear breathing. Just James Cameron. Aaron Avery says, "Alien Theory says he's uh, not a, he is not a gamer in one of his videos, but his dissertation on the Alien universe is amazing. I love it. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I'm not a huge gamer." But again, I'm good at Cuphead. Just want you all to know that. Would you like me to stream Cuphead? <laughs> Maybe one of these days. Yeah, okay, thanks. I thought you said I got this. Oh, it's a hidden cache. John Smith votes for Cuphead, alright. I'd watch it, it's a tough game. See, for me, I'm like so good at Cuphead. I don't know what it is. I can't do, like, this is so hard for me, and stuff like Call of Duty and, and all that stuff. It's so hard for me, but Cuphead, it's like, hey. No problem. Well, not no problem, it is hard, but I, I you know, I can, I can adjust to it. Coop Clubs. God, I love your content, bro. Thank you, buddy. See? Kandefe28 says I suck at Cuphead, but I, I beat Elden Ring. I would never I would never stand a chance in Elden Ring. I know this. Mercedes Shravani says, yes, Derek is very good at Cuphead. She's seen me play. She knows what's up. Cuphead is harder than Elden Ring? I don't know. See, what I like about Cuphead is that the levels are really just like two minutes long. But you just keep doing it over and over until you get good. Not only did I beat Cuphead, I 200% Cuphead. Thank you. And I platinum trophied Cuphead. If you're my friend on PlayStation, you can add me again, Derek237. You can see my trophy, my platinum trophy. <laughs> it's my proudest achievement. <laughs> okay, we got some ammo here. What the hell is that? Okay, we got some ammo here. Where? Where's the drone? God damn it. Where'd it go? Do humans become xenomorphs? In a way, yes, they do. I mean, definitely Alien Gibson's... Alien Gibson's... William Gibson's Alien 3. We get kind of that hybrid, the transformation. Which is so cool. Um, I'd love to see a concept like that, actually, in one of the movies. I mean, seeing it in the comic is one thing. And even in the audio drama. But to actually see it would be so cool.
Let me guess, a prowler? What? Yeah, I'd love to see it in the film. It's like a, a hybrid transformation. Flares go across the catwalks. Keep on them. Aqua Dad 1, 2, 3, three says, Oh my god, he actually has platinum in Cuphead. I just checked. See? I'm still working on the DLC, though, I'll be honest. Does anyone else think this crosshair looks like headphones, or am I crazy? Dimos Mars says, did this game get a g oh no! Did this game ain't get any DLC? That was English, right? Uh, did this game get any DLC? Not yet, but August. Uh, we're getting a, we're getting a new campaign pathogen, which I'm excited for. Part of the reason why I'm doing this stream, I want to hone my skills a little bit. I think I'm doing okay so far, but I mean, my health's a little low. Uh, I don't know. Hey, look, more health. Great. They killed that girl. Oh, uh, Monica. I mean, basically, Monica is like a girl. We see her in this game, but she's also, you know, featured in in the book Infiltrator. Uh, we get to see her po uh, pre, uh, you know, impregnation, and she's the striped xenomorph, basically. Okay. Mercedes Schiavone says he's done GTA as well. Yeah, well, I haven't done anything too impressive with GTA, but I've gotten further than you. Okay. Hello there. If you could have one gun from the franchise in real life, would it be Pulse Rifle 100%? 100%. I couldn't want to challenge you to uh, GTA races. No, I'm not good at the races, to be honest. Wasn't my whole reasoning to use the close quarters, the CQW? Yeah. Okay. Let me get some health. Uh, does it feel like we're at the end? I don't know if it feels like we're at the end, so let's not use all my consumables here. Um, put up one of these. Damn it! And let's put one sentry here. Christopher Bedeau says, Why did David kill the engineer's civilization in Alien Covenant? Because he could. That's the power of God. Ready to go. Why did man create David? Because they could. The intense music is up. That means we're in trouble. How inhumane is he? Oh, he's not human. General Habit Ashery says, Love you, dog, if you play on Steam. I would love to play sometime. Uh, this is on PS4. I don't have Steam. But um, when I did the video talking about Aliens Dark Descent, I actually got some pretty uh, harsh comments about... Uh, the Nintendo Switch, because I said, ah, oh, this game, the Aliens Dark Descent, it seems like it would be very fun on a Switch. Because you can just, you know, play and go. Uh, 
but uh, people were telling me, uh, what was it, Steam Board or something. Or Steam Deck, Steam Deck, that's it. Uh, no car garbage, is this on normal mode? Yes, this is normal. And this is as like tough as I can do, honestly, to be perfectly, perfectly honest. But anyway, I was thinking about maybe getting like Steam Deck, whatever that is. Martin Gorski says, how many drops is this for you, Alien Theory? 38. Simulated. Kook Club says, I wish I could just do one, one more last one to complete David's arc. I agree. I'd like new stuff, but I, I would, I'd like to get that kind of out of the way first. I think we're missing something. We need just a little more. The bane of my existence are these prowlers. The combat drops, including this one. Uh, Don't hurt my robot friend. I mean artificial person, sorry, sorry. Just gotta get used to the vernacular. Robin Bean says, what's up, Alien Theory? Um, I'm kicking ass in this game. Quite clearly. <laughs> On the easiest mode possible, of course. Or is there an easier mode than this? I'd be very curious, actually, about that. So wait, what do I gotta do now? I gotta go somewhere. Um, okay, I'm good. I'm good with ammo. The ammo runs out so fast that I just want to get a little bit more. <laughs> okay. Okay. There is an easier mode? Yeah. There's gotta be some fun hidden stuff somewhere. Guess not. Christopher Bedos says, have you heard of a 2011 DS game called Aliens Infestation? Yes, I've heard of it. I've watched uh, a playthrough of it, actually. Uh, but I've never played it myself. I never had a DS. But it's pretty cool. It's like a Metroidvania alien game. Ambush. Blue team went that way. Cut it. What's down here? Can this blow up? Nope. Fatty McFox says Aliens Infestation was pretty decent. Well, from what I watched, it was cool. Uh, it'd be a different experience playing it, I guess. And I think you can play as different characters and get different outcomes, if I'm not mistaken. So, some replayability value there. You okay, Beta?
Why would the facehuggers try and attach themselves to the Sims? I don't get it. Beam says, I wasn't sure about this game, but it actually looks pretty awesome. Hey, it's fun. I mean, whoa. If you don't mind having to fucking deal with all these asshole aliens and low ammo. Shag it, fire team. Shag it. Piece of cake. Where's some ammo? I love that sound on critical hits. Yeah, it's cool. Okay. This is going to be tough. Let's get some health. Nice, an 8 kit. Okay. Okay, what do we got? We got this. How about playing Aliens Infestation on your computer? Uh, I guess if I could get like an emulation for it, yeah. But I mean, I, I enjoyed the uh, watching the playthrough. That was fun. Sentry's ready to go. AVP2 on the PC is the best. That was an awesome game, yes. Um, surprised Steam hasn't uh, gotten it yet. They have the first one. Again, I'm sure I've mentioned this a million times, but I just love the life cycle mode in the uh, multiplayer for uh, for AVP2. Like having to be the face hugger, then having to be a uh, chest burster. Being the chest burster was the worst. Then you get enough kills, you become a queen. It's pretty fucking cool. How about doing it yourself? Doing what? Oh my lord! <laughs> this is it's a little rough. He doesn't like my sentry guns. Help! Shit, I pressed the wrong button. Come on! Are these guys just fucking sitting there? You fucked around, you found out. You fucked around, you found out, okay. 
fuck. Aliens infestation playthrough. Yeah, uh, maybe in the future, but in, in the near future, I'm going to focus on the Alien 3 games. That's what I'm going to do. Being as bad at video games as I am, I can't, uh, can't put too many eggs in one basket, or can't spread too much around. Uh, you know what I mean. <sighs> <sighs> Getting a little stress, stressed out here. Okay. I'm just firing at nothing at this point. Oh god, here comes another one. Where is he? I want to get him before he comes closer here. Oh, there he is. Let go of my friends! Oh god. Oh my. Oh god. <sighs> Oh, we got updated orders. Okay, yeah. We're taking over point on this up. You're going this, to this is the end, I hope. Shitbox. No, there's more. Come get some. You put the core in an open Game line. over, man. That means going all Whew. the way to the bottom. The heart of the nest. Oh. Well, oh, that was fun. And we got some goodies. Uh, didn't rank up, but we're getting there. Mercedes Chevrolet says, "Woohoo!" Now it's 31 minutes. The Xenos took out the entire Blue Fire team. Their mission falls to us. You're going into the heart of the Ah, yes, Fatty McFox is claiming rewards from the, the TAC Ops. I, I, I sometimes I forget to do that. But actually, if you go to the... I'm just going to call it the store. Um, if you go to the store, it reminds you, I think. Um, or no, I think maybe it just pops up. But yeah, I need to get to... Uh, Mercedes Revives says, you're going to need a shower after this. Yeah, fresh change of pants. That ought to do it. Okay, so let's get my, uh, my goodies here. Ah, ah. And didn't get enough kills. And we got that. We got 800 requisition credits. We got the tactical opportunities pack. And we got 60 rep script. TD, TD, Queerty. Only found your channel recently. Really enjoyed the content. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate you watching. Now, uh, not bad Afro human. Wait, I think that was autocorrect. <laughs> not bad for a human. Um. Can I buy anything at the store? Armory. Let's call it the armory. Yo. Yo. I got some. You'd be surprised how many spray artists we've got in the battalion. Mm, no, because I want to collect. What my goal is to collect emotes and get a trophy. And the emotes are like usually four hundred. Play some kitty isolation. I do think I have isolation on this on this computer though. I think or this PlayStation. I have it on like Xbox. I have it on PlayStation 3. And I think I even got it on Steam. And I have it on Nintendo Switch too. Um, Gregory Ford says, could you buy me some of that Arcturian you know what? Gregory Ford. How are you? Member of the Hive. Well, 
Maybe I won't do the last mission. Maybe what we should try is the horde mode, or what is it called? Uh, yeah, horde mode. Wait, are there different tactical op? No, it's the same thing. Um, let's try that. Because I actually think it's, it's the exact same map that we were just play playing right now. Uh, let's try that, and let's see... See what we can see. Let's try. Who's the lowest here? Phalanx is the lowest here. So maybe I should keep up with Phalanx. Do some mines here. Now let's do some these here. Some of these. Okay. Ah, forget it. Damn, I have 22 minutes left on my download for Fire Team. I would have loved to join you. Hello. Well, didn't, like, last time there was an update, and then it was like, oops, there's another update. <laughs> okay, wait, yeah. So we got... Let's try something other than... Gregory Forces, I am well. The company assigned me to guard some... Fancy installation that has substantial dollar value attached to it, something like that. Okay. Seemed like an okay guy. Nah, you know what? I need something a little better than handguns. Let's, let's try Doc. We can do the plasma rifle with Doc. And can we do... No, that's... How about Technician? What comes after Alien Covenant? Nothing yet. Recon, maybe? You know what? Let's, let's go for the classic. Pulse Rifle. The risk always lives. And what are the perks? Oh, come on, I can fit so much more in here. Uh, rifle training increases the max ammo, yes please. And this is the pups, well no. Uh, what's this one? I'm gonna remove that. Okay, fine. Whatever. I'm just gonna put whatever fits. I'm not even read it. How about that? Has Ridley Scott given up on making a sequel to Covenant? It does kind of seem like that. Um, he always has a different story every time someone asks him, though. Like, remember when he was saying he was just gonna focus on the androids? So maybe he kind of got that out of his system with. Uh, Raised by Wolves, which I haven't seen all of, by the way, so if, if you're curious to know my thoughts on that, I haven't seen all of it. Uh, just actually the first maybe five, six episodes or so. Um, then he was saying the next one isn't going to have any relation to Alien Covenant or Prometheus, which I guess is kind of the line they're going down now. So we'll see. Anyway, let's try out uh, let's try out this uh, horde mode here. Let's see how how long I can lash lash, and let's uh, see if anyone can join me here. Do you think he caved to the Karens when he made Covenant? That's too alliterative to me. Okay, we're waiting. I look like a Ghostbuster, but okay. Hey! NA 1914, Whiteout 82. One of those might be a birth year, but the other I'm not so sure. And I'm ready. In 17 minutes I'll be dead and crying and leaving leaving the stream, just so you know, Equinet. 
with all the negative reviews of Prometheus. I don't know. Uh, it, it's hard to say. I mean, you'd like to think that Ridley Scott is just a director that does whatever he wants and tells you to fuck off if you don't like it, so I don't know. Jay the Green Undead says, Derek, do you have a favorite piece of music from Cuphead? I love Floral Frenzy's music. Uh, you know what? I never really thought about that. Um, I kind of like the music in, uh, what is it, Bootlegger whatever, um, Bootlegger Battle, or on the DLC, where like uh, the second phase of the boss comes down with a gramophone, and every time the little uh laser turns dangerous it's like the gramophone is warped <laughs> fire team we got a yeah. salvage job happening in a nearby sector our job is to lure the xenos away from that engineering team i like your spirit whiteout aid too we prepped a defensive position for you when you're ready to start hit the control for the air shafts Autism87 says, do you like Predator at all? Or at all? Do you like Predator at all? Yes, I do. I love Predator. Predator is like one of the greatest movies ever. I saw it on the big screen recently for the 35th anniversary. It was great. Thank God I'm here to shoot one alien. The hell is this? Oh, I think this gives you more ammo. Well, what does the pup do? It just highlights them better, which I kind of like, actually. Okay, wave one done. Piece of cake. Right, I should be using this, the CQW. Took two magazines, but I got one. Bitter somewhere. No. Pop. I don't think we'll see an alien isolation tube in eight years, though I would like to see Amanda Story continue. Well, let me present this to you. Uh, would an alien isolation game without Amanda Ripley be of any interest? Like, same general concept, but you're not Amanda Ripley. You're a different character. Would that be of interest? Sam H. says, I thought of Wings of Redemption was playing an alien game when I clicked on this? Why? Why would you think that? Look! Listen! Auto Tomato likes the idea. I played it, yeah. Or what about an alien isolation game in, like, Fury 161? That would be kind of cool. Maybe, like, a relative of one of the prisoners. Like, oh, my murderer father, Dylan, was here. What happened to him? Company covered it up. That might be interesting. <laughs> Luke traps his mat. Well, I'm just spitballing here, Luke.
Alien Isolation 2, the electric boogaloo. Secure the point. What about Alien Isolation and Hadley So That could be cool too, and that probably could more naturally include Amanda Ripley again. All right. You're really pissing them off. <laughs> everyone line up to ammo. It's like after a movie, everyone just runs out to pee. Yeah, I mean, we don't need to go overboard with, like, you know, everybody's relative with these stories and stuff like that, but, you know, if it works, it works. Like, I am excited for, uh... Uh, the Vasquez book, which I guess that's going to be the first to have, like, a character other than Ripley have their own novel, at least, like, a character from movies, I should say. Because, obviously, they've, they've tried stuff with Vasquez before. They had her sister in the comics, the Aliens, Colonial Aliens, Dark Horse comics. What is this dude doing here? Um, and recently they had her nephew, I think, in, in the Disney comics, or, uh, uh Marvel comics, but the same thing, Disney and Marvel. No, I want to keep using this. We need to follow orders from Hicks. Short controlled bursts. No, I'm shooting blind. Forces, I thought William Hope did a good job doing Vasquez's voice in the audiobook. Yeah, he's great. He's, you know, kind of underrated when it comes to his work as a as a narrator. Because he did Aliens, he did uh, Alien Resurrection as well. Um, and I love the stuff with Bronson and Show and. Uh, Show me Osario recently, but I think they need to get William Hope back. And Pat Guinness was good too. Duke Nukem Alien. Does Duke Nukem steal any Aliens lines? I know he steals some Evil Dead lines. I swear I saw a spitter right up there. Oh. I like to keep this in handy for close encounters. Groovy. Don't get your hopes up, Anquette. I'm, I'm like... I'm sundowning here. And show did Aliens Phalanx. Yeah, he did the Phalanx and Infiltrator. And I think that's it. He might have done something else. I don't know. Philippe FMRS says he's crazy, he's a fool, but he's not a liar.
Hi. Just gonna put a sentry right there. How do you like that? MS has ever thought about writing your own alien movie script? Uh, not, not seriously, no, but, I mean, I guess every fan, you know, has their own ideas of what they'd like to be, see and kind of play them out in their head and stuff like that. Okay, so what does this really do again? I don't know. Forces. I understand there's a Star Wars conk based on Endor and the Ewoks, and one of the stormtroopers says, maybe it'll show up on Endor. <laughs> Is that an actual comic? Like, I mean, like an official one, or is it like a fan one? Because wasn't there some fan movie about, like, Ewoks, but it was like the Blair Witch Project, but with stormtroopers, and like the Ewoks are like evil? But, if that's the case, that's a good nod. Yes, Generation Tech had a YouTube video that showed a panel with a dialogue. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's not like a super obvious... ...pull. Like with Stranger Things, apparently Stranger Things... ...and I must admit, maybe I, like, nodded off... Because I like binged the, the last two episodes when they came out, um, but they they had some aliens dialogue. I like just in case someone hasn't seen it, I don't want to spoil it. But uh, there's some aliens dialogue repeated in Stranger Things, you know, the last season. I posted a comment and someone told me to search Google for the comment, but I couldn't find it. No, we, we gotta find that. That's our new mission. But another commenter confirmed the author of the comic did indeed farm the Okay. I gotta find it. Do you know if it's uh, Disney era or is it like uh, further back? got this. Do I have anything? Come on, you bastards. I, you know, I do kind of like this horde mode. You don't really run around much, you just kind of, uh, shoot. Jared Mackey says, Do you like the weapons variants in this game? Does the look of the new guns feel like they belong in the universe for you? In the alien universe for you? Actually, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, there's some things here and there that I could, you know, uh, nitpick a little bit, but I really like the heavy pulse rifle. I think that's a really cool weapon. Um, I could see that being utilized somehow. Because, I don't know, I guess it's sort of in between smart gun and pulse rifle, in a way. But the thing is, it looks a lot like the minigun in this game, which the minigun I don't think is quite... I mean, they've done a better job on, on the minigun's in other games. 
wasn't hugely impressed with the minigun. Luke Tramps, does this game have a story? Yes, it does. Um, no cutscenes, but um, when you do like the general campaign stuff, uh, most of the story is kind of communicated through voiceovers, and you know you learn a little bit more about the plan and what's going on. It's not a huge story. Uh, but you get some intel as well, gives you some background, that kind of stuff. So it's not like super, super story heavy, but there is a story. All right. Good idea. I really do look like a Ghostbuster. I can't. I can't kick that image out of my head. Um, no more consumables. Luke Tramp says, love Ghostbusters. Yeah, Ghostbusters is awesome. I don't say it in, you know, a negative way. Just that I noticed. Gotcha. Oh, it wasn't me, it was some guy. Not you. Jared Max has played the new Starship Troopers Terrain Command? No, I've never heard of that. Oh dear God. Maybe this pup will help. <laughs> Maybe not. It's CNC meets Starship Troopers. By the way, the reason we don't get isolation too is because IGN gave us 49 out of 100 pure incompetence. How is that possible? Because they gave the mobile game like a hundred for some reason. Alien Blackout, is that it? I didn't play too much of that. Whoa. Starship Troopers is dope. Good movie. Never saw. I've never read the book though, which, you know, heavily inspired aliens. Okay, there's got to be some like goodies around here somewhere. Well, I'll get some of this health. I have ten seconds to make up my mind. There's nothing. There's no little boxes. What a bunch of shit. Um. Okay, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Wanap says, I like the idea of Blade Runner and Alien in the same universe. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, rest in peace, Joe Turco, by the way. He played you know, Dr. Tyrell in Blade Runner. And Lloyd, in, the bartender in The Shining. Uh, I don't know if he's been in that many movies, but those two, I mean, those left an impression. So, you know, rest in peace to a great actor. Whoa! Oh, thank God. Oh, 
Formulas is Alien Trilogy on PS1 is pretty good. Yeah, I do actually, I have that, uh, so uh, maybe I could uh, stream that. But then again, I'd have the same problems. I'd have to uh, hook something out. Uh, no, I could do it. That might be fun. But uh, I, I don't have a PS1, so I can only play it on the PS3, because I do have the PS3 that can do um, you know PS1 games. Um, but it doesn't have the analog. It just has, you know, the D-pad, which sucks. Yeah. But yeah, a Alien Trilogy does a fun game. Gotta say, my crew's pretty good tonight. These guys are, uh, much better than robots. Aye. What? <laughs> Fuck! 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 Assistance required. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Help! Oh, thank God. Thanks, buddy. Oh, good. No, not enough to have to wake up to your Dre Spake. Oh my god, what's wrong with me? Not, not enough to have to wake up to your face, Dre. Richard Roberts says, One of the things that I've always hated about Alien Resurrection is how quickly they killed off Michael Wincott. His voice alone should have saved. Dre Spake, yes, that's right. Dre Spake. Yeah, I love Michael Wincott in that movie. He's Elgin. Um, we got another salvage coming up. We can pull you out, or you could keep distracting the bugs. You know, what? I, I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead, guys. I really am. Nice work out there, Marines. Nice work. I, I, let's leave on a high note. Ship. How about that? We did a two-hour stream. It was pretty good. Had some fun. But uh, yeah, I think uh, I think we're going to end it for tonight. Uh, I'll do another one soon. Uh, maybe not tomorrow, but maybe maybe in the next couple of days. We're going to do that final uh, mission. Uh, there might be a little bit more between that, but we'll see. Uh, Gregory Force says, Wincott always plays the guy, bad guy with his raspy voice. He was the bad guy in The Crow in Strange Days. Yeah, top dollar. He was so great in The Crow. Um, what was that other movie he was in? Um... Uh, Eddie Murphy, what's it? The, it wasn't that good. Uh, Met Metro. Uh, he was the bad guy in that. He was really good. And in uh, the Hitchcock movie with uh, with Anthony Hopkins, he played Ed Gein, the serial killer, who kind of appears uh, as like a ghost that inspires Hitchcock to make the movie. Strange movie, Hitchcock, but pretty cool. And great Michael Wincott, as always. And I love him in talk radio. Uh, where he plays this, like, stone teenager. It must have been one of his first roles. Um, and, of course, he's a Canadian actor. Uh, Strange Days, uh, Catherine... Yeah, Catherine Bigelow, uh, one of James Cameron's former lovers. And here's something. Here's something that I find a little bit interesting, guys. Uh, so something to uh, chew on. This new Avatar movie. Subtitle is The Way, the Way of Water. I think that title sounds familiar. Isn't there a movie called The Way of The Weight of Water, or The Way of Water? But no, the movie is called The Weight of Water. It's a uh, Sean Penn is in it, Elizabeth Hurley, uh, directed by Catherine Bigelow. So I think he ripped her off with that title. 
And Star Wars Unfiltered says, Wincott was also in The Three Musketeers with Kiefer Sutherland and Charlie Sheen. Yeah, Michael Wincott's great. Where, where, what's he done lately? I mean, he's got to still be around. I, I, an incredibly underrated actor. And once again, a Canadian, so that makes me quite proud. Um, but I'm losing my voice now. <clears throat> Avatar Waterworld flopped, so we're trying again. Whoa, what's happening here? What just happened? What's going on? Why? What's... What's happening here? Waterworld, I actually... I watched that recently. Um, oh, okay, I just disconnected. Uh, it's, it's, it's really not a good movie. It's really not. It's it's terrible. And Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, is Richard Roberts. Yeah, he was great in that. Um, damn, he's in a lot of movies, Michael Lincoln. But anyway, I can wax nostalgic about Michael Wincott rolls till the cows come home. But uh, I'm going to end it for tonight. Thank you, everybody. Gregory Ford, thank you for joining me. Luke Tramps, thank you. Well, everyone. Everyone, thank you. Uh, I had a lot of fun tonight, and, and I hope to do it again soon. And I hope to get more practice. My fingers really hurt right now, by the way. My thumbs especially. Uh, so I'll uh, soak them in, in ice water, and I'll be back soon. So uh, I'll see you again soon. Aquanet123, have a good night, Derek. Thank you, Aquanet. We'll play again soon. Auto Tomato. Goodbye, Jedi Saiyan. Goodbye, Tim Faulkner. Goodbye. Goodbye. Till next time, this is Alien Theory signing off.